Hello everyone, this is Keisha Charles from At The Paper Mint. And a few weeks ago, I posted to my Instagram account about this swatch book that I made. And I thought I would show you how I created each of the swatches. So bear with me as I take you through my very first tutorial. Um, and I think we should kick it off by talking about the supplies that you'll need. So um, first thing, you're going to need um, a surface. For, for the surface that I chose is um, Rangers, um, the Ranger brand Tim Holtz alcohol ink cardstock. Um, it comes cut down in this particular size to four, four and a quarter by five and a half, um, 20 sheets um, in, in each pack, and it's very affordable. You could also use um, alcohol ink Yupo. I would recommend that you use um, whatever type of surface you regularly use with your alcohol ink so you can get a true vision of how your um, how the color will look on the piece of um, the, 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 the surface that you use most frequently because I think that that is the, the, the true purpose of having a swatch and understanding of how the color is going to look on um, the piece of paper that you use. In addition to the cardstock um, or the, the surface, you are going to need um, some painter's tape. Um, this particular brand is the Fog, Frog Tape brand. Um, it's their delicate surface line. And I bought it in the just under an inch size. So it's 0.94 of an inch, 60 yards of it. And you can find it on Amazon. Um, in addition to that, I um, also use a disposable pipette. I found these on Amazon at the time. Um, you can use a disposable, you can use a pipette if you have one, or um, you can use a dropper, whatever is easiest for you. In addition to that, you're going to need some isopropyl alcohol. I'm using 91% alcohol, um, which I would recommend for this. And the isopropyl alcohol helps you move the um, alcohol ink around on the paper. Of course, you'll need alcohol inks to swatch. Um, for today's demo, I'm going to use Tim Holtz alcohol ink um, in the mermaid color. And the other thing that you'll need is a blower. So I'll show you how you use this handy Tim Holtz blower um, to move the alcohol ink around on the piece of paper um, um, to create the swatch. So why don't we go ahead and get started? The first thing that you want to do with your card cardstock is get that cut down into a size um, that you like for the um, for the swatches. You can go as big or as as small as is is practicable. I found that a size that works for me is two and one eighth by two and three quarter inches. Again, that is two and one eighth by two and three quarter inches. And that is essentially one sheet of this um, cardstock cut down into four equal pieces. Okay, so you can get quite a lot of um, swatches out of a single pack of that cardstock. Um, I then take the, um, the little swatch card I've created, this, and I wrap the end of it with a piece of the painter's tape. So you just butt it up against the edge and you wrap it to wrap around the back so you've got a nice um, hold. And this just allow, uh, protects a part of the um, swatch card from the alcohol ink and allows me to have a clean space to label and gives it a nice finished look. You don't have to do this part. Um, if you're comfortable having a looser look on your alcohol, um, on your swatch, you can just label the top um, wherever you see fit or the bottom, wherever you, you, you would prefer. Um, for me, I, I like the look of the, um, of having the label, um, butting up right against, um, the top of the, um, where the alcohol ink stopped. So that's why I use the painter's tape. So now we're ready to just go ahead and get started with the, um, with preparing your swatch. And please note that I am using um, the glossy side of the this particular paper, the alcohol ink cardstock, not the matte side. Um, that is a side that's appropriate for use with the alcohol ink. Um, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to pipette 
um, out a little bit of the isopropyl alcohol into my little pipette here, or you can use a dropper to get some um, into your onto your paper. And I'm just going to squiggle around, yes, that's the technical term, and put a little of that um, um, isopropyl alcohol onto the um, swatch card. I'm then going to just carefully drop a small amount, I'm gonna do two drops, yeah, um, of the alcohol ink onto the, I'm sorry, I keep rocking the camera, onto the swatch card. And now here's where the blower comes in handy. I'm going to start moving that alcohol ink around on the paper, on your swatch card, by just simply blowing it in a couple of directions. And if you ever feel like you don't have, I'm sorry, I'll try to keep this in frame, that you don't have enough alcohol ink or you don't have enough um, um, the of the alcohol, the isopropyl alcohol on the paper, you can just put down some more to get the effect that you prefer. So I just continue moving this around. You see um, that the blower allows me to, to move the ink and create some cool effects that I'm trying to do so without <laughs> bumping the camera. But I like to have both dark and light areas that allows you to see the full range of what the color, um, what the color can offer you. So if you are ever unhappy with a particular area, you can go ahead and add back in more alcohol ink and move that around some more until you get the effect that you prefer. The great thing about this is that each swatch is going to be unique and that's the beauty of it. Um, so you don't have to worry that, you know, your one swatch doesn't look like another. It's, it just has a unique vibe to it that's all of its own. So now you see what the piece of tape does in terms of protecting the top of this particular swatch. And I'm going to start removing it here so that I can reveal the space now that the ink is dry from the very, um, reveal the space on the top of the card where you would put your label. And I just gently peel that back and um, set that aside. So here is your swatch and you're going to finish this by now labeling it. You can write a label using um, a permanent marker um, of, of your choice, or you can use, I, I decided to use my brother labeler to add a label right at the top of the, um, where the alcohol ink stopped. And I let that overlap a little bit with the top so I get a, you know, a kind of fun, interesting look. And then you wrap it around the back and you're good to go. The final piece that you'll want to do to finish off your swatch is to hole punch it. I actually use some acetate at the front and at the back of my swatch book um, to create just a little um, barrier or um, something to protect the front and the back of the swatch book. And I created these first. And for this one, I actually measured where the center of the um, acetate was. And then I use that as a template on each of my subsequent swatches to figure out where the center of the, um, the, um, the, the, the swatch was at the top here. And then I just hole punched um, using a 0.25 inch circle um, punch to create the hole that's in the center. So I'll overlay that for a second so you can see there. You put it there and you position your hole punch and you've, you've got them all pretty much identically punched. I wouldn't worry about them, um, you know, having each one look exactly the same way. It doesn't matter. Um, it will still end up look, um, looking pleasing to you and be functional. The final thing I will just say about why I created this um, swatch book is just that I found it much easier um, to be able to look at it to pick my colors for a particular project rather than to having to test a color or fumble around to figure out if a particular color was the right one that I wanted to use for a particular project. 
and there's so much, um, there's so many choices here that a swatch book really comes in handy. So I hope that you guys enjoyed that and that you'll be inspired to create um, your own swatches. Um, I know a lot of us are, are staying inside at this time and, and this may be a good project to keep your fingers um, a bit busy. So thank you for joining me today and check out um, my Instagram at, at the paper mint, that's A-T, the paper mint, um, um, for more of my projects and, and cards and things of that nature. Thank you everyone, take care.